Hello and welcome to Rev Sports extensive coverage of the Border Gavaskar Trophy and we are here right now at the Vidarbha Cricket Association Stadium uh, where the first match between India and Australia will be played on February 9th and as you can see the practice sessions of both the teams just got over with the Indian team just finishing up their training session and with me to join and talk more about the preview and the build up and the excitement surrounding this test match and it's a special occasion it's a 75 years of India and Australia test series and the first test match between the two countries were played in way back in 1947 so it's a historic occasion the ground itself is historic it's a lot of important matches being played and with me to talk more about it I have none other than Atreo uh, the senior correspondent of race sports Atreo just to, to start with do you reckon that uh, three bone of contention for the Indian team first who will open the batting with uh, Rohit Sharma second who will be the wicket keeper and third whether it will be Shubman Gill or Surya Kumar Yadav. What do you reckon? Absolutely right, absolutely right. Uh, firstly, welcome uh, viewers to uh, Rev Sports, this uh, special show that we are, we are having and will be having. Coming to our first question, who will open? Rohit Sharma is one and it's either Shubman Gill or KL Rahul. And the trick, the catch here is that whoever of the two does not open goes down to number five. Sometimes you see when, a, when an opener is not fielded in that position, he comes out to bat at number three. But with Pujara having sealed that spot for many, many years, it, that other opener, I mean, of, the, of Gale and Rahul, whoever is not going to open, will probably have to come at number five. Number six, number two is also a very critical call. Who is the wicket keeper? Who is going to be the wicket keeper? Uh, both of them are uncapped, Kishan Kishan and uh, K.S. Bharat. But uh, going by early indications and what has been seen at the nets, I get a feeling that uh, it's going to be Bharat. Yeah. Bharat uh, has opened the batting actually for uh, Andhra Pradesh in the in domestic cricket. He has a triple century. Ishan Kishan's domestic record is also very impressive, but it's one of those uh, 1920 calls. I mean, here borderline calls. So, but going by what we have seen so far and the hint that we are getting from here and there, looks like it's going to be Bharat. And coming to the question of how many spinners and if three, then who? I think uh, India is going to go in with three spinners. Because Australia's strength is fast bowling, so Indians will make sure that they don't uh, they, they don't get that advantage over here. So if they are if they go with three spinners, I think two are quite sure. Yeah, what is Ashwin? Ashwin and Jadeja. Ashwin and Jadeja will probably play. Yeah. So who's the third? Is it Akshay Patel or Kuldeep Yadav? Obviously, going by the practice session after the yesterday and today, and definitely we can, we can say that Akshay Patel will be the third spinner if India go in with with three spinners. Yeah, I mean that's that's logical also because. Uh, Aksha Patel has taken a lot of wickets in the in the handful of matches that he has played. He has, he's been phenomenally successful. He's a handy blower out of bat as well. But at the same time, I feel a little bad for uh, Kuldeep because the uh, previous test match he played in Bangladesh, he was the man of the match. Yeah, he got eight wickets. Yeah. So it will be a harsh call, but in test cricket, there are times when you have to take these harsh calls. Yeah. And coming, coming to the Australian side, like Indians have a few areas of dilemma. There are some tricky calls yeah, to be made. Right. Australia probably are better off in that regard, absolutely. aren't they? Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, obviously, their only bone of contention would be whether to uh, go in with Cameron Green because he has a niggle. He is still not fit, but he did bowl. Was heartening for the Australian camp is that Cameron Green did bowl today along with Captain Pat Cummins and Scott Boland. Obviously, the Australian will be they would be pegged down by the injury to Josh Hazelwood because we know what. What he brings to the table for the Australian team is he's, he's a senior bowler. His injury would be a, some, some sort of setback for the Australian camp. But then, as Steve Smith mentioned about Scott Boland, I did ask him the question about um, Hazelwood missing and what it brings to the table, whether it's going to be Lance Morris or Scott Boland. So what Steve Smith did say after that in the press conference was that uh, actually that wicket here in Nagpur will favour someone like a Scott Boland. So he reckons that and he, he has done well. In six test matches he has played so far for Australia, he has done well. He has, he has got wickets. So I think and he has that pace. That is what will count. And, we, and if he can get the river ball to reverse, which, is, uh, in, which, which, can, which can be a huge factor in these conditions, if the Australian fast bowlers can reverse the ball, and then it will be very, very handy for them. So, and coming back to, to the, the fast bowling combinations, obviously Australia, now that Hazelwood misses out, it will be either Scott Bulland or Lance Morris. To me, I think Scott Bulland have an edge. Certainly. He has uh, played uh, for Australia already and he has done reasonably well. And uh, if he gets the ball to reverse over here, as you, as you mentioned, reverse swing is going to be a very important factor in this series. At least in yes. first, second and fourth matches. I'm not sure about Dharamshala, but 
in Nagpur, river swimming is definitely going to play an important part. And uh, coming back to the question of Green, the advantage of having somebody like Green in your squad is that he gives you his two players in the form of one. Absolutely. Australia, if you notice, they usually go in with four specialist bowlers. Right. So in that case, Green becomes the fifth bowling option and a very handy bowling option. And also after that, before we end, obviously this ground has a lot of history behind it, associated with it. Uh, and you have been covering here uh, for, a, uh, for ever since the first test match happened here. So can you just talk us about the history, the, the charisma of a new ground? Uh, obviously, commuting to the ground is a bit difficult because it's outskirts of the city. But having said, said that, it's a terrific ground. It is, it is. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very beautiful stadium. Although it's a little far away from the city, it's a very beautiful stadium, very spacious. There are lots of space, empty space here and there are, there are uh, practice pitches are fantastic. They're outside the main ground and it's very spacious. The, uh, coming back to test matches over here, uh, it's, a, it, it's been a happy hunting ground for India. Don't forget that. They, they have played six matches over here. Won four, lost one and drew one. And as you were talking about history, there are, it's, although only six matches have been played here, it's been a very eventful uh, venue actually. The first ever test match played over here, India and Australia, 2008, it was Saurav Ganguly's farewell test match. In 2012, India played England over here, the uh, match was drawn and that was Joe Root's debut. In between, in 2010, Del Stein uh, put in a fantastic uh, spell of fast bowling over here to bundle India out for not very much and South Africa won the match, which remains India's only defeat in this at this stadium. There was also a bit of controversy, yes. if you remember. Again, India and South Africa, 2015, match got over early into the third day. It was a rank turner. And from the press box, it was very difficult to see the batsman, to locate the batsman, because he was always surrounded by those closing, closing catchers. Yeah. Yes. And uh, the pitch uh, got this venue a sanction from the ICC. ICC rated this as a yeah. substandard pitch. And also, uh, you, you need to talk about that controversy associated with former India captain Saurav Ganguly and uh, Sashan Manohar. Yeah, yeah. Although it was not here, it was it was in Nagpur, but that was at the old VCA Stadium. Okay. When in 2004, uh, Nagpur presented gifted Australians a very fast and, and, and greenish wicket, a, a wicket with a lot of green, green and a lot of bounce in it, and they made most of it. They won the series here. That's absolutely the final frontier. Yeah. So that's it for now, viewers. Uh, so keep watching this space, keep watching Red Sports to get all the exclusive coverage throughout the Border Gavaskar Trophy. Atruta will be covering the series throughout for Red Sports and keep watching this space. And do subscribe to the YouTube channel and also download the app to get all the news throughout the Border Gavaskar Trophy. Until then, this is me, Devasi, signing out with Atruta. Goodbye. Goodbye. Keep watching. Keep watching Red Sports.